Winter is looking good for mule deer so far. Birds aren't flying south to Wyoming this year. And a Cheyenne man who allegedly ran over his ex-girlfriend's head with his car says she was spreading rumors about him. We'll take a look at these stories and more today from Wyoming's largest news organization. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily. Well, despite mule deer herds suffering horribly in some parts of Wyoming during the winter of 22-23, things are looking far better this year. Outdoors reporter Mark Hines says that even in pockets that were hit hard last winter, such as the Wyoming Range mule deer herd, surviving animals had rich forage to feast on all spring and summer. One of the sad parts about the, that Wyoming Range mule deer herd is they lost most of their fawns last winter. But the does that weren't burdened by fawns going into the spring, they had that much more energy to reserve for themselves. And of course, all the great forage. And so the surviving deer have really good fat reserves. So far, this winter has been mild. And so they are expecting a pretty uh, healthy fawn crop next spring. But of course, that's just the start of that herd recovering because they lost so many deer. The plight of the Wyoming Range mule deer herd and other wildlife in the sublet, Sweetwater, and Fremont counties region of Wyoming drew plenty of attention last winter and spring as animals froze and starved to death by the thousands. A man died Wednesday following a stabbing that reportedly happened Tuesday afternoon on the Wind River Indian Reservation. Cowboy State Daily's Claire McFarland reports that no arrests have yet been made and the victim has not been publicly identified. This is believed to be linked to a Tuesday afternoon stabbing on the Wind River Indian Reservation where its checkerboard patchwork meets the land, the rural land west of Riverton. The feds are not saying a lot yet since the FBI has felony jurisdiction on the reservation, but they did note that no one is yet in custody. Local police say the victim's sister's boyfriend did the stabbing, which happened Tuesday just before 1.55 p.m. on Riverview Road. The city of Casper has a new mayor turning the page from 2023 that saw its controversial former mayor resign and his successor opt not to continue as mayor. Cowboy State Daily's Dale Killingbeck reports that Councilor Steve Cathy will lead the nine-member governing body. The council really wants to have a calm and peaceful year. That's what new mayor Cave said. The outgoing mayor who did not run for re-election also said that he ran just to return the county to a place of peace following a lot of news last year related to the former mayor. Former Casper Mayor Bruce Nell resigned in September after allegations he physically attacked his wife. He denied the accusations but left the council saying his reputation in the community had been ruined. I'll be back with more news right after this. At Hilltop Bank, we understand that buying a home is a big decision. That's why we're here to be your trusted partner on the path to home ownership. Our experienced mortgage team will guide you every step of the way, from pre-approval to closing. We offer competitive rates and a wide variety of home loan options to best suit your needs. With our local knowledge and personalized service, you'll feel confident and comfortable throughout the entire home buying process. Contact us today to start your journey toward home ownership. Hilltop Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Due to this winter's unseasonably warm temperatures in North America, many reports are surfacing statewide about a drop in the number of Arctic birds that travel to Wyoming for the winter. Cowboy State Daily's Leah Wolfson spoke to Natrona County legislator Charles Scott, who annually participates in the Bates Hole Christmas Bird Count. Scott observed that the total number of birds was down from last year. What they did is they basically had a collection of volunteers and they kind of covered a 15 square mile area down there. But it's really kind of emblematic of what's going on around the state. I talked to Jacqueline Downey, who lives in Moorcroft, and she's the education programs manager of the Rockies of the Audubon, a bird advocacy group. And she's been said she's been hearing uh, similar reports around the state. Conversely, there's also some birds, uh, according to Scott, that have no business sticking around Wyoming during the middle of the winter that have been doing just that, like the western meadowlark. A count in nearby Casper showed a decline of about 25% fewer birds from the year before. And a man accused of running over his ex-girlfriend's head at a Cheyenne gas station last month reportedly told police the woman had been spreading bad rumors about him. Cowboy State Daily's Claire McFarland reports the five-count aggravated assault case of 33-year-old Cody Fertig includes allegations that she wielded an ice scraper at him, he pulled a gun on her, then he threw her to the ground and began to beat her before he allegedly ran over her with his car. He reportedly told police that he was bothered because his ex-girlfriend was spreading bad rumors about him and that he, quote, blacked out. If convicted on all five counts and sentenced consecutively, Ferdick could face up to 31 years in prison and thousands of dollars in fines. And that's today's news. Get your free digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the subscribe button on CowboyStateDaily.com. I'm Wendy Core for Cowboy State Daily.